Well, hello there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for the week of November 14th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Pisces, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We're looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, hang tight. I won't be taking those this week, but if you want the extended, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. Okay, so we've got the tower showing up here. It's a major arcana, so it's a really big deal. There could have been a really explosive ending with someone. The tower is destruction for the sake of uh, creation. It's Scorpio energy. You may be headed for a tower moment right now. We've got the four of swords, which is kind of taking a break. It's resting, healing, gathering your thoughts together. Um, you could be kind of in a quiet moment from someone kind of pulled back. They may be thinking some things through. Five of Swords is a conflict with someone. The fives are conflict cards. This can be someone who has a nasty way of winning an argument. Five of Swords can sometimes mean someone lying to you or manipulating you, um, being kind of hurtful here. And we've got this Queen of Swords in reverse. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You could have some air in your chart. You could be dealing with an air sign. Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who's had it. Um, even under the best of circumstances in the upright, she's a very head over a heart kind of a figure. She, you know, she gives zero Fs about something. In the reverse, she gives gives even less. It's like, I, I can't even deal with you. I'm sick of you. I'm tired. So it seems like an explosive ending here. Let's take a closer look at your person and we'll see what's up. Okay, we've got the Five of Pentacles here, which is leaving somebody out in the cold or being left out in the cold. Um, a sense of lock, lack or loss. I don't have enough here. I don't have what I want. There can be kind of a coldness between the two of you. So what's going on with your person here? Okay, so we've got the moon, cancer, and Pisces energy here. That's definitely your energy, although it can also mean like something is hidden here. There's something beneath the surface that you don't know. Um, it, it might mean that this person has kind of gone quiet here. They've ghosted you or they've walked away. You're not really hearing anything here. <laughs> we have the fool. Major for Aries. So the fool in reverse is someone doing something foolish or feeling foolish. Someone acting like a fool here. Uh, this person may have done something kind of stupid here. There could have been a secret that they weren't talking about. There could have been, I don't know, some lies that happened here. Great. Sorry about that. I'm having some tripod issues. We have the Justice card and we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, this could be someone who maybe hasn't been completely honest with you. And it could be anything from like there's something that they have omitted to tell you to something that they have outright lied about. Ace of Swords is truth. It's honesty. Uh, being very open with somebody. The Justice card is major for Libra. It can mean an apology coming your way. Uh, it can mean someone speaking the truth to you. Being kind of honest. Mm. And we've got the Six of Cups. That's having a long shared history with the person really being... Uh, like it feels like the two of you have known each other forever regardless of whether or not you have. They're feeling like they screwed up here. They're feeling like they really, really messed up. All right, let's clarify this uh, and see what happens. They've got a lot of feelings for you. I do think there's some things that they haven't told you here. 
We have the five of wands in reverse. That's wanting to end a conflict, wanting to apologize here. It's like they want to explain what's going on with this person. All right. We've got the moon in reverse here, and we've got the six of pentacles. Um, I don't like. I don't think you know exactly what they're gonna do here. Like you may have think like they're they're just gone. They've cut out. They've left. They've kind of run away from the situation. They're not facing it or dealing with it. The moon in reverse can be something hidden that's being revealed. And we've got the six of coins here, which is I want to balance the scales. I value you. I value this connection. I want to give to this connection um, an equal give and take between the two of you here. I don't know what they didn't tell you. All right. What's up with this person? We've got the Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is an apology. It's also someone being very flirtatious or very charming. It's the Romeo or Juliet of the deck following their heart here. I think they're coming in. It's. I think it's like they want to rebuild the trust here. They want to show you that they can be trusted. We've got the Hermit, Major for Virgo. So I do think that this person has pulled back energetically and they've they've done a like a long look in the mirror and they don't like exactly what they see. The Hermit is often like self-reflection. I'm getting advice from my higher self or maybe someone who's older and wiser than me. It's almost like they're disappointed in themselves here. Ten of Cups. Could have been married to this person or have a child with them. They see you as a wish fulfillment here. They're hoping that they can get you back. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. For some of you, it's like they want to talk about the future here. They want to talk about a commitment. Um, they can have Earth in their chart, or you could. But they may be wanting to... Uh, like the Six of Pentacles, that Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, like, look at how stable I am. You can settle down with me. We'll be, um, you know, have this long lasting relationship. You'll give to me, I'll give to you. Take a look at that, um, how that applies to your situation here. For some of you, this person could be married and you just found out about it. That's not for everybody, though. All right, let's do what this person feels for you as well as something that they're thinking here. So how does this person feel about you? Got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. One of you could have air in your chart or this person is an air sign. Knight of Swords can be the angry knight. You can see he's kind of like, or she in this case, running in here. Um, she's wearing this newsprint dress. There's a lot about truth here. Maybe you found out some news about them. They may feel you're very angry. I just don't think you anticipate them doing something about it. So what's something that they're thinking or that they need to say here? Finding out the truth crushed me. Mm, some truth came out, maybe. We both know I'm not the one for you. Can't stop thinking about you. It's like the two of you, like, for some reason, maybe you shouldn't be together or one of you feels that way, yet they're kind of obsessing a little bit about you. This is a mess. All right. What the heck? Let's do one more because, you know, I'm nosy. And then we'll do, um, I'll do the extended. Oh, let's see what fell. I will wait for a sign from you. 
maybe they've been waiting for you to like pursue them or for you to write in and you haven't here. And I do think it's like making them a little bit squirrely. I think this person's gonna approach you. I think they know they screwed up. It's like they wanna just come clean and tell you everything. They wanna rebuild the trust. I don't know whether or not that's gonna work. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe while I have you here since I post weekly. Uh, at the In the extended, I'm going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown, and an oracle card. All right. Blessed be.